The scientists have done their job. They've done the research. They're showing where the deficiencies are. Now it's the professionals who actually deal with um, the athletes, you know, the dumbbell coaches, so to speak. Now it's our turn. We got to develop programs to better serve these athletes. We can't now, you know, dig our head in the sand and say, hey, when's, where's the research that's going to show this? Because ultimately, our number one job as strength professionals is to prepare and protect the athletes for competition. Yes, we're performance coaches. We want to use all those words. We want to have all the drills that help them be a better product on the field because that's what coaches see. That's what parents want to hear about. But at the end of the day, somebody has to be there saying, who's keeping them safe? Who's preparing them? Okay, what are you preparing them for? All comes down to impact speeds. A professional boxer's punch has an impact speed of about 20 miles per hour if it hits you in the face. A football player tackling a stationary player, about 25. Soccer, heading a soccer ball, impact speed of roughly 70 miles an hour. Shear forces and rotational deformity are associated with the greatest amount of head trauma. Okay, this is where the modern strength coach has to be versed in. This is why I watch game film. What are these games like? Where are these collisions happening? Are they happening? Or is the everyday play? You know, volleyball has a high rate of concussions from diving and the body shifting its place. The head may never hit the ground. They're getting subconcussive forces. So it's not, it's not a one or a two sport thing. It's an every sport thing if the coach is paying attention. Subconcussive hits, what we just talked about. These don't cause the concussion, but the repetitive nature of the blows to the head are, acu are cumulative. They're accumulating and they're posing problems later on, later on in life.